So here's me playing uh, a game that I used to love. I actually really liked uh, Age of Wonders 3. Um, it was uh, all about magic and uh, one of the. I'm just gonna. This is a fresh campaign, by the way. So this is just uh, gonna be the uh, the standard. Was it the uh, the Vanguard? I'm just gonna start mission. Just gonna leave everything as it is. Challenge level. I'll probably push this up. Um, I don't know what to put it on to be honest with you because um, I'm I'm not new to Age of Wonders but I've never really been able to get into this. I've never really been able to do this. I'll I'll put it on medium. Um, just start the mission and I'll see how I go. Commander's personal record: Vanguard Expeditionary Forces. Cryo sleep cycle completed. No casualties. Time since launch: 197 years. We're finally back. After a storm destroyed our hyperspace passage, we had to take the long way around. Most of us joined the Vanguard to escape our past. Two centuries should be enough to give everybody a clean slate. Time to contact Vanguard Central Command. We're heading for Leave 6, the military transit hub in this section of the Borderlands. The crew is already speculating about visiting the Elysium Parks. Gambling, booze, and promiscuous androids. Oh well. After two centuries of sleep, it's time for some fun. Something is wrong. We have reached the Leave 6 star system, but instead of orbital patrol, there was only scattered wreckage awaiting our arrival. While searching for survivors, we spotted a ship of unknown configuration. Entering the planet's atmosphere, it ignored our hails. Residual void interference prevents us from scanning the surface. Alright. So, yeah. The Elysium Parks must wait. We have a new mission. We need to assess the strategic situation on Leave 6. Contact Vanguard Central Command and help them clean up this mess. Prepare for Planetfall, for the Vanguard, and for the Union. Mostly there at uh, I'll have a look at our racial features soon. Um, with base camp set, we're ready to march out. Down here, it's the same desolate image as in orbit. It's uh, all desert and charred ruins. The tropical paradise Vanguard Central created for their soldiers gone to hell. Someone has been fighting a war here. The question is who and when. So far, none of our standard frequency calls have been answered. If there are any survivors, they are either cut off from communications or unwilling to talk. Time to search the old-fashioned way with our laser rifles ready. Bleep, bleep, bleep. The robot ambles playfully. Would you look at that, Lieutenant Jan? Your little friend is making himself comfortable in this rotten place. Yes, sir, but it's no surprise. My brother used to be stationed at one of the Leaf 6 repair stations. This is where we assemble Tapples. He must be feeling he's close to his... Hey, Tapples, what do you think you're doing? The robot slips through one of the still unfinished sections of the camp wall. He dashes straight into the desert. And so one of our search for survivors... Send out your owl scouts to look for survivors. We need to find out where Lieutenant Jang's pet pugs just ran off to. And there are our initial... Um, so, our initial quests here in this campaign is, uh, first things first, we need to find out what the hell happened here. So that's our main quest. We need to look for clues, of which there are eight of those. We need to find them. We also need to search for survivors, um, and we need to find Tapples, who's just run off. So... Um, yes, I've played uh, Age of Wonders 3, it was all magic and you had orcs and elves and humans and halflings. This is obviously a bit of a scientific um, version of that really, isn't it? And um, here we are, so this is our, um, now let's see, um, background, so this tells us a little bit about the Vanguard, um, tells us the starting bonuses, so our units have plus one rank. Um, Long-term bonus, uh, produced units have plus one rank. Firearms, lasers. Um, one of the great things about this game is that there's just so much um, combination. There are so many combinations available um, that you can pretty much um, tailor the game uh, and the race to, to the way you want to play. Uh, we've got an Echo Walker as our starting unit. Um, command highly mobile units that can teleport and pass through obstacles. Create temporal clones of units to stabilize and decelerate enemies. Use the arc and kinetic damage, damage channels. So these are our contacts so far. We only know that about us, and uh, we are, um, of course, Vanguard. So they're the only known races we have. 
Uh, okay, in here I have my uh, doctrines and strategic um, or tactical. Um, uh, what would you call them? I can't remember the name of them. But anyway, we can we can activate those, but we don't know any yet. It's brand new. Here we've got our objectives menu. So we've got uh, here we've got. Oh, it's a victory condition. Uh, you can end this mission by investigating what happened on day 6 since your departure almost 200 years ago. And then of course we've also got our um, side missions there as well. Uh, defeat remaining commanders 3 of 3. Over here we have our uh, colony overview. We don't have a colony yet, we're about to create one of those. Um, we've got our military overview, so we've got two armies here. Um, and then we've got our items, so these are uh, things that we can craft as well. Alright, so over here we've got our victory conditions, we know what they are. Alright, so first things first, uh, let's have a look at our... Um, so this is our owl. Um, I think all I'm going to do is on this one, is I'm going to just put this onto auto explore. Um, we've also got another owl here as well, so um, yeah, we don't want to do that. Let's see, close that. Okay, so close that. <laughs> let's get him out of there. And then let's get this owl out of the army as well. And then we'll stick you on auto explore, and we'll stick you on auto explore as well. Let's see, we've got uh, an Echo Walker. This is a specialist unit for our, our race. And we've got an assault bike, and we've got three of our Vanguard troopers. So our Vanguard troopers, we're going to boost these up as quickly as we can through our tech. We can get our tech up here, um, but uh, clearly we can't uh, activate that yet. So we're just going to move our so we've got a we've got a mission over here, so let's make our way towards this. We've also got our border here that we can see. We're going to expand that as soon as our colony uh, is up to it. So if I click on uh, our colony here, we can see um, we've got our headquarters, our colony center, and we've got uh, some land here. This tells us about the features and uh, the location where we are. Um, also in this one we can see that uh, our colony currently has uh, three population. I don't like to think of that as just three people. I like to think of that as just a number representing how big the colony is. So maybe 300. Maybe we've got 300 colonists there. We've got plenty of uh, food available to us so growth is going to be uh, achieved in four turns. Alright. And then this one we've got uh, happiness. So 6 out of 40. Happiness is... Uh, so everything is under control. Um, but we're going to have a, a happiness event in six turns. We'll just leave all that as it is for the time being. Sector production, we don't have any sectors yet. Structure production, then this part here, um, we could, uh, uh, let's see, so we'll move out here. We can see <coughs> that in this particular area, um, we have river, environmental conditioning. So I'm actually uh, talking myself through this as well because I'm, I'm, I'm quite unfamiliar with this. I, I haven't learned it very often. Um, See if we've got plus 56, plus 5. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to choose that yet. I'm not going to choose um, uh, which core here yet. I think I'm just going to have a look at here. Let's let's click that one and we'll uh, we'll produce that, and then we can uh, get hooks. Uh, hooks over there. All right, so let's uh, let's move up here towards this task. So we'll move them forward a little bit there. And we'll have uh, Lieutenant Jan following suit uh, there as well. Let's end our turn. You found a salvage of so our owl has, uh, has found a supply stash. Boosting our uh, food growth, sending that back to the city. Looks like our little robot friend has found himself some company. The wait a second, I'm those road sweeper units patrolling the streets. I may not be an expert on maintenance robots, but the last time I checked, they didn't require any laser guns to do their cleanup. Troop hygiene must have really dropped since we've left. Uh, good one, Commander, though I doubt this place has seen any visitors that would have appreciated a clean walkway in quite a while. It looks completely deserted. Agreed. Either way, I suggest we interrupt this particular mop, uh, mopping up before your little pet gets blown into pieces. So we need to save Tubbles. Uh, to rescue him before he gets attacked by the men and destroyers. Objective completed. Okay, so we succeeded in our... So we located him. Um, so I'll take that. We're going to take some res uh, research and production and energy. And we'll... Uh, uh, end our turn. Alright, let's continue to move forward. So 
our soldiers in close range. Um, we're going to wait until we can get her into the fight as well, just for experience purposes. Experience purposes. So this is our military um, research. Now the last time I played this, it seemed like I was going through research just so quickly. Um, before I even had a chance to upgrade people with the resources I had available to, my, uh, to me, um, I was already at the next research level. So it seems like research just goes quite quickly in this game. Um, Phase manipulation, this could be pretty good. This will uh, allow us to get around the, uh, the battlefield quite quickly. Also allows us to go through objects, so that seems pretty good. Up here we can go an engineer uh, with a shotgun. and uh, Down here we'll get our healing spells as they, as they were in Age of Wonders 3. So these are nanite supports, uh, upgrades, allowing us to heal ourselves. Um, experience is really important in this game, so I think I'm going to go for that first. I'm going to go for healing so that our soldiers have got some more survivability. So let's research that. Then let's move over into society. Um, I like the look of these, frontier survival, increasing our growth. So I like these doctrines. I want to try and activate the doctrine really early on, especially one that can give us some growth. So there's our military uh, research set. So one of our owls has found a craft research ship down here, which is going to give us some research. Alright, so it looks like our um, city can now annex its first sector. So over here we've got our first city, which is uh, called Ifteville. Ifteville. And it can, activate, uh, it can annex its first sector. If we zoom out, we can see that uh, it could either be this one down here. Oh, we've got some energy here. This could be good. We've already got a nice surplus of energy. Up here seems a pretty general sector. It's got a little bit of food, a little bit of energy, a little bit of research. Uh, but it doesn't have any particular uh, um, structure that can really, really benefit us. Um, hmm. Why don't we go for this one anyway? Because it has got a nice uh, derelict power plant that we can try and get hold of. So let's uh, annex this sector. That's going to take one turn, and we can see we've got some people... Um, Occupying some of the structures here, so we're going to want to clear them out. Okay, this one, if the build produce specialist training. Production center. ready. All right, so we've produced that, so we can actually recruit pugs now, which we can see uh, here. Let's recruit pugs. Um, we're going to be getting energy from one of our sectors, so I'm not going to choose that. Instead, I wouldn't mind doing like maybe a central science lab to boost our. Go, we can actually boost energy, boost boost production. Maybe we could boost, we can see we've got 30 here, we've got 65 production, how about we do the bio farm, and that way it'll boost our growth, that seems like a good option. Alright, let's move Lieutenant Jungle a bit closer to the battle here, and we'll get uh, our forces moving in, we'll enter, oh I don't think Lieutenant Jung can join actually, no she can't, because we're entering here, so okay, we'll just, uh, should I actually, um, Replace the bike. I've never been a big fan of the bikes. Uh, never really big, been a big fan of them. So let's pull the bike out and let's maybe get Lieutenant Jang involved. So it's a very low risk battle. We can just auto resolve this, but I think I'm going to do it manually just so we can get a taste of some uh, some tactical combat. Getting a bit of a stiff neck from the way I'm sitting here. I want to be close to my mic because I'm a little bit worried about uh, audio calls. Okay, so they've improved their targeting there. So if I remember correctly, this guy here is uh, very powerful up close. He can explode, causing a lot of damage. And this one's got a range of 1x, this has a range of 0x, so it needs to be very close to do some damage this guy. Um, also we have this guy who's uh, got his uh, defense laser, so he's got quite a range on that, he's got 9, and I think it's the same for this one as well. And the automaton sentinel, yeah, he's, he's similar, so he's got uh, decent range, does fire damage. Alright, so let's have a look. Um, there we go, just getting the controls down there. So let's play this defensively. We've got our um, vanguard troopers here. Let's uh, push him forward. And I think we'll set him on uh, Overwatch. 
Uh, we'll get our um, leader forward a little bit as well. I don't want to put him too close to something that can explode, because uh, maybe the AI will uh, exploit that. Let's pull him back to here instead, and we'll get him on Overwatch as well. Now this tank um, is in and of itself a defensive structure, so we'll push her forward. Let's, let's go to this guy first. Let's push him forward here. Let's get him on an Overwatch. Watch. Let's pull this tank forward a little bit. Pull this tank forward a little bit. Uh, I don't want to put him in another one. A bit too, a bit too close to something that can explode there. And let's pull our unit here. This is our Echo Walker, so he needs to be up close. The good thing about him is he can create a duplicate over here. So, anyway, we'll just have him hunger down and we'll end our turn. Uh, any units? Uh, there's one. No, no. Okay, so who's left? What's that? Any units that can still act will end the defense mode. Okay. I think I have to let it go. That must have been in the Okay, so they're staying where they are. Let's pull our Overwatch guy forward again. Move our Echo unit out to the side here. Maybe we can tempt them to come forward. Moving forward here. Right. It over here, move everybody to the side and see if we can take out this guy over here. Pull our leader forward a little bit here. Um, can he actually attack there? I don't think he can. No, so we'll set him on overwatch. Let's pull everybody out of this side. So, check you to uh, go down. Pull you over here. Set you to overwatch. And let's get the tank. We're gonna be a bit brave with the tank. Oh, I don't really want to destroy her tank in the other stages. Let's pull her forward just a little bit. Any chance we can uh, reach? Not quite. Let's pull you forward to here. I'm a little bit too close to some uh, objects there. So we'll click on him. We can't quite reach us there, so I'm just gonna <coughs> face her in this direction. So there was only a 25% chance of success there, so I missed. But that, I think, is going to tempt them to start moving forward on me now. Yeah, just move forward. So, yeah, they're going to open fire now. Got a critical hit on the tank. moved forward and he's managed to avoid any overwatch fire. And what we'll do is we'll pull this guy forward. That's going to give us a relatively good shot here. Okay, we've got our Echo Walker here. Maybe we can pull him into a defensive position here. And then we can generate, um, let's see, we'll generate a, a duplicate. We'll do a nice little uh, attack from the back. He's probably going to cause a lot of damage, this guy, when he uh, explodes. Let's see, let's uh, let's pull our leader down a little bit to about here. We might be able to get, get a decent attacks. we we'll go up here. This is going to give us a nice attack on him. Let's see, um, I want to pull him too close to, again, something that can um, explode. 38% So I did well there, despite the fact that it was only a 38% chance of success these, these explodable objects being here are just a little bit frustrating um, I could do with healing her, she has 45 health left And she might lose a lot of health actually So what I could do is I could uh, do repair tools to heal back up a drone deployment. Deploying a flying repair drone can heal units. The drone expires after four turns. Um, I could do that. Rather than heal myself, 
Let's set something up here. Let's set up a repair drone here. Alright, so they're going to take care of everybody in the vicinity, I guess. Unless they only repair... Um, they may only repair mechanical objects. Cyborg or mechanical. Oh, they also, re re they also repair biological as well, so... Yeah, let's move you forward a little bit. I'm a little bit reluctant to uh, move you over here. I'll get you a nice open shot on this one. 44%. Oh, you got Let's also get you a mediocre uh, shot on him. Alright, that ends our turn. I don't think we have any tactical options available to us, so he's probably going to do some serious damage. Hopefully he'll damage him because he he's expendable. So he has soaked up some... Yeah, that's good. Unit lost. So that unit lost I think was the, um, the, the duplicate that I... That's not bad. Alright, let's move our tank forward. Let's have a look at this. Here. 30%, got 40% chance of hit up there. Now I can move here, that's going to give us a nice open shot on this guy. 50%. In fact, let's go for the 50. We can also use you as a, um, a nice little uh, high cover. Gives us a 40, gives us a 55% chance up there. Let's go for that. Alright, let's move our. We still get high cover there, and I don't think we're going to take any problems from the fire, because I don't think so. 40% chance here. Looking forward to vastly improving my um, my troops. They're going to be the backbone of the army. Um, 55, let's uh, take that one. Let's get you. Can we move you anywhere significant? I think we can. Right, let's just pull you up then. Let's just pull you up to here. You're going to have a good go next turn. Let's move you forward as well. Move you forward here. Place you in this direction and have you hunker down. And uh, you've had a go, so have you hunker down, hunker down. Okay. Thankfully our tank is soaking up all the damage, which is nice. So we're actually going to have you heal the tank. And I was going to have the tank heal itself, but I'm not going to bother because... Um, I don't think we need to yet. Okay. Get you uh, out of range there, so we'll just push up to this next high cover point. Let's see if we can take that out. Enemy annihilated. Alright, let's just see if we can get the tank. I have a feeling that uh, Lieutenant Jang isn't going to be with us uh, for long, so... Uh, let's just use our, um, our standard troops. Let's... Uh, where's, where's our leader? Remember the hotkeys here. Alright, we've got a vanguard troop here. Can I move here and I should be able to get... Let's move here. Taking a bit of a risk having him so close to those explosives, but we can get a 50% Alright, then we've got our next troop. Let's pull him up to... Our Echo Walker, let's pull you up a little bit closer. Tonker down. What the hell is that? Uh, there he is, okay. 45, maybe we can finish this right now. Oh, we just missed.
past that last one. Let's pull the tank right up um, to here. Our forces are victorious! I'm sure there are people who play this that sort of fly through this line. The robot uh, euphorically jumps from Dio Jang to Jack Gelder, slowing the its antenna in its excitement. Come here, Tobos. Now there's a good boy. Though you have to promise to never run away like that again. Just look what you got us all into. Looking around may actually be worthwhile on this occasion, Lieutenant. Do you remember how all the ships here had been polished and flagged from the launch day? Now they look as if they belong to belong in a museum. All the, uh, the, the construction hangers on guard, guard it. That almost makes me feel like a living ghost. Speaking of ships though, we have to double our efforts to find the alien ship we chased that, uh, down from orbit. It'll be better to get on their tracks before they can prepare any nasty surprises. So, we've explored the spaceport and we've man managed to actually find a Scorcher rifle which does fire damage, so that might be good to give that to Objective our complete. leaders. We've gained uh, tables and we've also gained some energy and some research, so we'll take that. But we have now um, got a new mission. We need to locate the landing spot of the unknown vessel. And this could potentially give us a gunship. Well, it will give us a gunship. All right. So let's see. Um, I think we could, uh, so that's our owl. So I think now let's um, get our units and maybe um, venture back to clear out our, um, What's this? Ah, so that's Tapples. Okay, so let's bring some units back this way now. We'll back here. Let's get uh, Lieutenant Jack back in charge of our own army. We'll give you the bike. Yeah. We'll do this way. Spaceport 6. So. Luckily that area, that was actually a spaceport, so that's going to give us a huge... Oh, we actually control that now as well, so that's nice. We get a huge boost to um, production. Spaceport landmark owned by you. Okay, so give, give us a boost to production. Um, so we've produced production our second farm. So we can actually just move straight on to um, the military skirmisher barracks, which will give us the assault by production. Not really bothered about that, but... See, that's what I feel like. In this game, I feel like you do a lot of building just for the sake of building. Um, in Age of Wonders 3, you could actually think, okay, well, this this is owned by, like, elves, and elves are really good at um, being archers. So for this one, I think I'll build, like, the archery range and all this and, and develop this city for archery. I'm not sure you can do it in this, because I'm just playing through as, like, um, the vanguard. As opposed to having different races, maybe later I can have like an alien city over here that specialises in something. And I'm not sure how that works yet. So we've got tapples here. I'm just going to tell them to wait, wait for a backup, and then we're going to go and clear out uh, this area here. If we zoom out like this, can I actually see where my my quests are? Um, operations. Operations available for priming. Economy, military. So how do I actually see where my, uh, oh, I can see on the minimap down here that we've got a mission down here. So this is where one of our missions are, it is. And actually we've got a mission up here as well. I can use my minimap for that. So, okay, fair enough. I can also click this and it shows me there. Okay, so that, I know that that's my search for survivors quest. This one, find the alien ship. So it zips over here, but when it comes back on again, okay, I just have to guess. I think that was that one. So I think those two objectives are the ones that are showing on my map there. Okay, yeah, let's end turn. Lord Sloth. There's a few avenues of specialization, economic sector upgrade buildings, but the bulk of specialization has been moved to sites of landmarks on the world map. Right, okay. Alright, that makes sense. So I suppose it's a little bit more st strategic about which sectors you um, take, um, which which uh, sectors you annex, I should say, where you actually um, um, capture your bases and things like that. And I know that they've brought in things like um, this, the, the focus a little bit more on, um, like when you look at your city, it tells you um, 
like there's a river running through it, so that gives you some kind of strategic element to it as well. So I guess it's quite strategic in that way. Yeah, I'm just getting used to it. This is the first time I've um, kind of really sat on the campaign. Stop, hold it right there, Fulton Renegades. Return to your holes immediately and we won't have to put you down like dogs. What is this, Madness Soldier? Is that how the returning crew of the sleeper mission is welcomed? Homie, is there? Step aside, let me talk to your su superiors. The sleeper mission? Impossible, there are no more ships arriving from the void. Don't lie to me. Ruby Squad, Emerald Squad, Sapphire Squad, you're all madmen. You know what? We'll let you speak with the Prefect. He'll show you how we deal with traitors. I can't believe these wretched creatures were once proud star union citizens. I always felt the Paragon were going too far with their cybernetic enhancements, but this, are they even still human? And what about calling us renegades? Have their brains gone rotten as well, or is this something more or is there something more to this? Time to talk to their prefect. Vanguard Central Command will know what is going on. In the meantime, we should keep our eyes open for the commanders of the Ruby Emerald Sapphire Squad they mentioned. They could be true. Objective completed. So we've actually found the survivors we were searching for, um, and we've gained some um, um, influence. We have actually gained another quest now. We need to va uh, find the Vanguard Squad leaders, and this could potentially lead to an assault bike and some more influence. Appease the Paragon. Prove your good intentions to the Paragon and reach a peaceful relation with them. Okay, so those quests that have been added, discover Paragon Dwelling, so we've got a, a dwelling over here we need to find, um, Vetreville, I'm going to change the name of our city because I can't even pronounce it, produce military Production ready. Okay, so we could now produce a VR combat uh, simulation center which allows um, greater experience to everybody we produce, so we'll do that because we're going to produce some more military units soon as well, um, created our sector Sector base. annexed. Excellent, so we've got our new sector over here as well, which includes a derelict power plant. So that would be pretty cool. Ah, right, okay, thanks for telling me that, because I didn't I didn't realize. Let's, um, let's quickly change that. Um, let's see if this makes any difference. All right, um, I think I've changed it. Can, uh, let me know if that's any better, Lord Sloth. Um, hopefully, it's a little bit easier to hear me now. Okay, so we've got our, um, let's move along here to clear them out and then we can actually um, put that in use. So, we, so let's give you your own army and we'll push you forward to here and we'll get topples into the main army. Alright, let's pull you forward a little bit as well. Nanite support, so we've got Quantum our nanite support. molecular machines are not magic, they're science. But the uncertainty principle dictates that if I explain to you exactly how it works, it'll stop working that way. So just trust me. Okay, so now we've got our nanite injectors. I'm going to upgrade our soldiers so that they can heal themselves. Um, and we've also got some tactical uh, unit operations here as well. I think I'm going to head down south now because this void tech is pretty interesting. Instead of... Um, losing uh, move points on trying to get round objects. It would be really cool to phase to them uh, and, and walk through them and stuff as well. Uh, societal research, I believe we've now... We Vanguard. Yeah, okay, so we've got our frontier policies. I think that's a nice doctrine to have on there to increase growth. I'll probably go for that. Um, alternatively, I could go for colony militia and that'll help us produce units more quickly. Um, and finally, we have... Um, Simulation center, and that's, ex that's that's actually what I'm building now, so that's okay. Uh, paddock deployment, we're not really near water, so I'm not going to use that just yet. Alright, thanks for telling me that, Lord Sloth, because I'm recording this as well. I want to put a, a video on YouTube, and if it's, um, you know, if no one can hear me, um, I won't know that until afterwards, so thanks for letting me know. Um, recreational dawn to increase happiness, um, that could be pretty cool. And we've, uh, let's let's go for this, um, just so we can uh, build the next level of infrastructure. I think when, I f when this first came out, I played it a little bit uneasy, and I didn't really need to build all the infrastructure buildings. It was just building them for the sake of building them, which was boring. But perhaps on medium difficulty, um, we'll get attacked and, you know, we can build up some uh, some turrets and things like that. Um, okay, so what we got next? Uh, so this sector down here, we can uh, perhaps do an exploitation of energy because um, we've got this energy uh, derelict power plant here. So maybe we can actually focus on uh, 
So this is our sector tab here. This is a uh, burn timber grove, which we can see is uh, this, I believe. How do I see that? Is it? How do I see the name of this thing? Oh, there it is. Look, burn timber grove. So because this sector tab shows us burn timber grove, I think I'm going to exploit the energy because we've got that energy structure there. I think that's how it works. All right, let's. Uh, Let's bring her up a little bit. Okay, let's unturn. Okay, so our oil, uh, our owl uh, scout there has uh, found some energy, so he's going to send that back to the city. We've got another owl over here who's uh, found some materials, so he's going to send those production materials back to the city. On normal intensity, the wildlife will take unprotected cities with reasonable ease after 10, 10 to 20. So the militia buildings do help. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's good to know. Um, so yeah, we don't actually have any uh, garrisons in there yet. I know in uh, Age of Wonders 3, you would usually leave like a little garrison in there or something, wouldn't you? Um, so it's nice to see that we can build infrastructure buildings then to defend. Okay, so he's uh, Hui Zhang, so he's the, uh, the brother of the... Um, the lieutenant. What is this? New recruits? Have you come to prove yourself to the Great Wei Chang and his Emerald Squad? Be strong. Um, be quick-minded. Be disciplined. Master your skills, and you may yet choose. You may yet be chosen to fight in a front line as we retake Molden Earth Arsenal. Wait, is that really you? I thought I would never have the chance to meet you as a grown-up. When did you join the Vanguard? Do you have a wife and children? How did you survive for such a long time? There are so many questions. And Fang, my dear brother, does this mean he could still be alive as well? Impossible, my family is dead. If my father were still alive, he would shoot you himself. Uh, tell your squad leader his attempts to trick me into his confidence will be met with gunfire. And it pains me to see that my brother decided to conceal the truth about my cryo sleep mission. But this is no lie, Wei. I am truly your father's sister. I can prove it. Commander, I need your help. There is an interlocking pendant, uh, a sort of family heirloom. My brother's piece is hidden in a repair station. It was our secret. If we can recover it, he'll believe us. Seems like I have three options here. I can support Lu Jiang, uh, Lieutenant Zhang on her search, wait for a different opportunity to convince Wei Zhang peacefully, or use military force to bring this to an end. So first of all, search for Fang Jiang's family heirloom. Hmm. I think I will do that. I think I'll do that. Convince, or I could convince uh, Hui Jiang to cease fire. Find a way to convince Hui Jiang to end the infighting. Uh, I think I'll probably go for the heirloom. I'll probably go for the heirloom. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got ops ready to prime. Available for priming. I'm gonna go for, uh, let's see, uh, let's do Frontier Survival just to get our growth. Um, I can't see any reason for any more significant um, boost to military just yet. Mission from the Paragon faction. Implant Snatchers. A group of pirates are ripping implants out of Paragon bodies. These cowards often target defenseless cryo sleepers, leaving them to die as plebeians. Um, the implants grant us the abilities we need uh, for the resurrection of the Star Union. Follow these thieves and kill them. Yeah, so this will boost our influence with the Paragon. Uh, so let's do that. Victory condition. End the Vanguard conflict. So this has been up updated. Um, I need to find these three uh, leaders of the different squads. Yeah, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. And she can reach us in this fight, so I might actually... Um, we'll lock you. We've got a mission here, We've got a couple of missions over here. What I might do is I might actually bring uh, Lieutenant Zhang um, just over here. I might just put her on guard duty and I might actually focus on giving her an army. So I'd actually give her a um, pug. I have a pug yet. No. There's a bike and a couple of units would be useful for here. So let's do, um, so first of all, let's mod one of these now and give them the nanite injectors. So this gives them a heal and that's gonna cost us some um, energy. It's gonna give us, uh, cost us some production and some, save the template. We'll call this the um, um, elite. Uh, no, we will call it elite. Let's just call these the, um, 
I don't know what we're going to call them. Let's call them the uh, Marines. Why not? Marines. Yeah, so Marines is a trooper class that can heal itself. Alright, so we'll uh, get one of them ready to produce. I actually think I'm going to remove that from the queue. So we'll we'll produce the combat simulation and then they'll get extra experience when they're actually produced. And we'll, uh, we'll actually build two of them. And we'll also give her a pug as well because that can be really useful. And that'll be three units and uh, that'll complement that group nicely. Yeah. And as for his group, he's going to come down here now and he's going to take care of these uh, guys from here. Um, you engage about now. This is a very easy battle again, but I think I'm just going to play it and we'll, we'll go through it quite quickly. So if you have a little scout of what we're facing here, first of all we're facing these guys who uh, generally need to be up close. Um, they've got a charm ability here, so they could turn one of our men against uh, one of our team against um, Powerfist. So that's got a range of five, that's got a range of one. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. We've got some explosive things here, so we want to get out of the way of them pretty quickly. So, so let's start with our leader. So we'll put him here. And can't quite reach those, so we'll get him on a defensive uh, overwatch stance. And let's pull them over here. Oh, that's our echo walker actually. Let's pull him a little bit closer. And uh, just put him on the hunker down. Defensive mode. Let's, uh, let's get you here. Get you on an overwatch. Get you up here. Get you on an overwatch. And then we've got our pug over here, so we're going to get him up close as well. And he doesn't have a, an overwatch, um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just keep him on defense mode. I don't think he was in range there. So this enemy here can potentially move up here and... Uh, so let's pull you right over here. Uh, let's we'll put you on guard mode and uh, end our turn. Okay, thanks for that little sloth, I appreciate it. Operations available. Oh yeah, I think I already saw that message before actually. I'm a little bit tired, you'll have to forgive me. I'm in the UK now and it's, uh, what time is it now? It's uh, almost 11.30, so yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit fatigued. I've got a 55% chance on them there. I could move forward, but I don't think there's any point. Let's let's uh, let's take a shot. Fifty-five percent. All right. Let's uh, let's see. You could uh, you could move down here and get um, the view forward a little bit, perhaps. Let's get our Echo Walker to send those guys out and we'll uh, possibly distract them. Let's get a nice little defensive position. Oh, they actually have an Overwatch, I didn't know that. Okay, let's get you there. And we'll just put you on defense mode for now. You've had your shot um, and you can't actually see them, but I blocked you in a little bit. Let's pull you around a little bit. A 48% chance there, but we're not really behind cover. Let's push forward a little bit. Let's see him now, but I can get a little shot off at these guys. 67% back there, so let's do that. Pretty good. So they can actually come up here and do some damage up close. So I think I'm going to keep our pug there just for defensive purposes. Um, I'm not sure if he's actually behind cover there, so I'm actually going to give him some cover with uh, that cloud. So he's a little bit obscured now. Let's pull these guys forward so they're behind cover there. 
and we'll get them on Overwatch. Let's get you down here. So you're behind cover and you can get a nice little... Mm. Let's go on over. Mm. No, let's let's actually take a shot. It's only... F no, Overwatch. We've now got some tactical operations we can do. Um, this one will um, increase the shield of um, the three turns of people. And so, no, I don't really need to do that, so I think I'm just going to end turn. Unit under enemy control. Nothing really to worry about there. We definitely want to take out uh, take this person out. I think we could go a nice little shot in there for forty-five percent. That's a shame. Let's pull you over here so that you're behind cover and we'll take this uh Enemy annihilated. Alright, so we gained access to them again. Let's get you behind cover there. You've got a nice open shot there. They should be alright. 67%. Oh, you've got a 95% chance there. Let's bring you round. Let's bring you, uh, let's see here. I think maybe we can uh, finish this guy off. Enemy destroyed. And then we'll use our 95% chance just to open fire on you. Alright, let's. Uh, I'll give you a nice uh, mediocre chance, that's all right, 58%. All right, and then I think we've got a nice little 48% chance, that should be enough. Our forces are victorious. So not, not a difficult fight, but the tactical combat in this game can be interesting. A little bit different to XCOM, you know, with XCOM, if, if the, there's only like kind of four sides that you can uh, have cover, and if they're not past you, it's considered that you're in cover. Whereas in this, it, I feel like it works a little bit differently. But like uh, a hexagon, it's like six sides, isn't it? There's eight sides. Okay, so we've cleared that, which means we're getting the benefit of the derelict power plant now, which is giving us a nice boost to energy. Um, I can see that we have a mission up here, so I'm going to send our troops up that way. Let's end our turn. Our owl has uh, found some more growth uh, supply stash there. And got some uh, derelict ship there as well, so we've got some uh, research. There is no obstacle I cannot pass through with my harmonic phase modulator. Matter doesn't... Alright, so that's pretty cool. So now we've actually got our um, tactical operation there, which is phase protection. Uh, but most importantly, we've got the phase warp modulator, so we can actually um, start modding our units to do that. Uh, we could do... Let's see, which one should we go on next? Uh, we could do engineer corps up here, which gets us closer to having uh, a gunship, which is pretty cool. I might do that. Alternatively, we've got some options down here. This one will give us fire damage. Localized fire drift. I think Echo, uh, Echo Walkers are really, really good. I really like Echo Walkers, especially the fact that they can uh, sort of do like a, like a duplicate. They can get a duplicate up and running. Uh, societal research is probably finished as well. Um, we have just got our um, sector there which gives us energy um, so I think I'm gonna research that which will allow us to further exploit that sector yeah yeah confirm movement let's move up a little bit closer to our um, our quest marker here which is up here so that's where we're headed uh, get some combat experience along the way so let's see if we can get involved in a fight there um, what we got? We got one more turn there, and then we're going to get Lieutenant Jang into her army as well. I 
wondering if my webcam is well placed there because I'm kind of blocking um, the map um, as well. So uh, let's move my webcam. I'm a little bit late discovering this, but let's move my webcam just a little bit and hopefully that'll improve the view. I've got about 10 more minutes left on this stream now that I actually see what I'm doing. Right? So I've got about 10 more minutes left on this stream. That will take me to about 20 to midnight here in the UK. Doctor, okay, so Frontier Survival, so that's great. So that means that we're going to get a boost to growth. Um, Happiness event in Colony. So, Colony receives influence. Uh, produce Combat Simulation Center, great. Ready. So that's going to give us some uh, starting experience to our troops. All right, we've got another fight here. Who are we fighting here? So we've got this guy who's a truck. Tier two. Tier one, tier one. So this should be a relatively easy fight as well. Very low risk fight, but let's do it. See if we can get through it within the next five minutes. And we've still got a couple of minutes left before the end of the stream. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube. I'm going to try and get myself a nice little collection of YouTube videos. So I've also got um, I've also got a uh, um, CK3 walkthrough that I've started, and uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, and a Stellaris playthrough as well. If you're interested in strategy, uh, Lord Sloth, oh. feel free to check them out. All right, so what we got? Um, where's, where's the truck? There he is, right at the back. Um, so he's got self-destruct. So I want to try and get rid of him before he gets close, really, don't I? But let's get our leader into a nice little position here and set him up onto an overwatch. Let's get our pug just behind. Let's stick the pug there just to be in a sort of defensive position. Have him face forward. Let's pull you... Oh, no, not the pug. Thought I chained... Ah, it doesn't matter. Whatever, that'll do. Thought I clicked on you there. Okay. Let's pull you down to this wall here, nice little defensive position. We'll have you overwatching over there. And pull down to this wall position here, you're our echo walker. Um, why, don't we, why don't we pull you forward a little bit further and you might actually tempt them to come and attack us and we'll put you on defense mode. Let's get you over here and you can uh, sort of... Uh, Set up a watch over here, and uh, uh, where should we put you? Put you here in the corner. Let's see if that uh, over. Stick you on Overwatch there, and let's just then turn and see what they do. Yeah, I'm sure. There's their chemicals, so that looks like they're going to do increased damage. Destroyed my uh, my cover there by the looks of it. So we've only got one unit coming on the left hand side there, so I'm probably going to move my pug over to support the right flank. Our oh, well, Overwatch has done well there, we've taken him. Right Operations down. ready. Okay, let's uh, get our Good look it up. All oh, right, okay. So even doing that generated a bit of a. Can he kind of move out the way now without getting attacked? Yeah, he can. Let's face you that way. And. Uh... But open fire that. 70% but we've missed one. That second one. Mm. We can easily finish him off now. Can't, oh, can we not see him? Right. I'm getting a little bit of lag for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pop him there. Finish him off. Enemy uh, down. 
Now can I bring the pug? Let's move him forward a little bit. He can get... He might move in to do a self-destruct over here, I'm not sure, but he can't reach anybody else, so I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, we still have this guy over, don't we? Let's just use our leader to kind of take him out. Enemy destroyed. Let's bring the pug forward a little bit. See if we can get an obscure. Can't quite reach him. Go we'll forward again. Get an obscure on our um, our units there. I'm gonna keep him behind and a little gap in the wall there. I think I'll pull him into this gap. I'm not sure whether he can. Yeah, let's do like a little overwatch there. You can just to see through that gap. I don't really need any ops, I don't think, so we'll just skip turn. A wonderful little expendable unit, this. I'm gonna pull him here actually, just behind. So. And I think I'm going to get our Pug to do some healing here. Can he reach him? Not quite. We'll pull him forward again. There we go. We've got a nice little heal there for him. This is uh, not really a very taxing game on my computer, so I'm not really sure why I'm getting a little bit of uh, lag there. I think I'll still get a, a shot in here. Want to try and get everybody getting a little bit of experience here, so there's uh, a little bit of experience for him. Let's get a attack in from the back here. Probably uh, thirty percent, and to finish him off, I think I'll pull up behind some cover here and maybe get in a. Forces are victorious. So again, not really a difficult fight, but uh, as we as we go on, these fights will become more difficult, I expect. A little bit of research there for you know. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the stream in a minute, but we can see that we've kind of expanded our initial city out into this sector here and captured a, a derelict power plant. That's boosting up our power supplies. Over here, we were able to capture a spaceport, which is boosting our production. Um, there's a little thing over here. What is that? Because that's uh, that looks dangerous. Uh, the pirate hideout. So that's probably going to start generating some uh, pirates, which could cause some problems over at port six. So over here, um, we're actually producing some units now. We're recruiting some new troops. They're actually our new marine class troops, so they can heal themselves. And they're going to complement um, Jang's army here. So we're going to get three of them in there. Well, two of them and a pug. Um, perhaps they can come out here and take care of that pirate. Um, a pirate base there. Um, next part, we're probably going to start expanding. Uh, maybe we'll expand south. Oh no, that's the Paragon, so we can't expand south, but we might expand north just to connect our main base with our port six over here. That's what we'll do next time. So, I'm going to end the stream there. So, um, if you're still there, Lord Sloth, thanks for joining me, uh, and anybody else who might be in stream. I don't expect to have too many views at this stage. I've only started, only just started doing this. Um, but uh, I'll see you in the next one anyway. So thanks for watching the stream. You too, man. Have a good night. Catch you later. Oh, thanks for the follow as well, Lord Sloth. Have a good night.